Welcome back, YouTube family. Before I begin this new story, remember to hit the notification button, like, and subscribe to my channel to view relevant content. And please tell your friends and family as well. Let's get started. In New York City, an autistic male teenager was riding on the northbound A train, minding his own business. For those of you who may be unfamiliar with the term or meaning, here's a definition of autism or autism spectrum disorder, ASD. It is a neurodevelopmental disorder that affects social interaction, communication, and behavior. There are various types of autism. Autism disorders, they're often defined by the severity and the combination of symptoms diagnosed in individuals. Now, the male teenager is a high-functioning teenager, meaning the teenager can demonstrate various life skills independently. His parent or parents can trust that their child can recall the steps to and from his destination without any worry. That's until the violent incident that occurred on Friday evening around 5.30 p.m. Even though it was rush hour and more MTA riders were within the vicinity and on the platform, this autistic teen was singled out on the train. A female teen called him numerous racial slurs. Then, she had the audacity to drag him out by his sweater off the A-train. And as a female bully dragged the autistic boy out, an entire group of bullies followed her. They exited with the 15-year-old male located at the 101st train station in Fort Washington, in Washington Heights. Sadly, the autistic teenager was threatened when a group of teens surrounded him and they constantly beat him in his face. YouTube family, not one of these teenagers spoke up to say that the harassment or bullying was wrong. Not one of them attempted to stop this violence. Currently, a 14-year-old boy was arrested on Tuesday night. He is charged with aggravated harassment misdemeanor assault, harassment, and menacing. And this case is being processed through family court. In my opinion, YouTube family, the entire group of teenagers should receive heavy sentences because one, the boy is a teenager with a disability. Two, the group bullied or harassed him without being provoked. Three, he was defenseless against several teenagers who assaulted him. The police detectives have identified the additional suspects, so they should be brought into the precinct and held accountable very soon. NYPD hate crimes has focused on this attack because of the anti-black slurs that were repeated during this crime. Also, Richard Davey, the New York City Transit President stated, the video of the assault is in quote, heartbreaking and disturbing. I totally agree. He said, our hearts are with the young man, seemingly being senselessly victimized, end of quotes. He also said, no one should be subject to this sort of hateful harassment while they are riding with New York City Transit and the MTA is fully cooperating with the NYPD in its investigation into the incident, end of quotes. YouTube family, here are some more of the different types of autism. There's classic autism. This is the most severe type of autism. It has symptoms showing before the child is three years old. Individuals with classic autism have this difficulty with social interaction, communication, 
and they exhibit a lot of repetitive behaviors. Or, or Asperger's syndrome. This type of autism is characterized by difficulties with social interaction and communication. However, a high number of individuals with Asperger's syndrome typically have average or even above average intelligence. Usually they do not show significant delays in their language development. There's pervasive developmental disorder, not otherwise specified PDD-NOS, and this occurs in the diagnosis for individuals who may have some traits, but not all of the symptoms of autism. Then there's red syndrome, and this is a rare genetic disorder that affects many girls. The symptoms of red syndrome include difficulty with communication, loss of motor skills, and even repetitive hand movements. Then there's childhood disintegrative disorder, and it's a rare form of autism that children develop, usually until two years old. Then suddenly, the children lose previously developed language and social skills. Many people with autism may show a combination of symptoms from different types of autistic traits. Everyone, you can read about this disorder and others in the latest edition of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, DSM-5. Back to the new story. Definitely, everyone, my heart goes out to this young man. This is traumatizing and hurtful, physically, psychologically, and emotionally. And it's beneficial for him to utilize a different method of traveling. In my opinion, MTA trains are still not safe to ride. The teen's mother confirmed that her son needed several stitches. Also, he did not know any of the teenagers. And she's also concerned about the mental impact of this assault affecting his future. I hope that the teenager will get the necessary help needed. The additional teens must be held accountable. This violent assault should not be repeated. And others will learn from this incident, or I, I hope so, I expect them to. Please leave your comments below. I would love to hear from all of you. And remember to hit the notification button, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. And stay safe wherever you are.